Hello everyone, Francine Calabrese here from the Little Brown Scapular Apostolate and my video today is on how the Five First Saturday Devotion relates to the Rosary, the Brown Scapular and the Fatima message. So if you've been following my blogs and YouTube videos, you know how important it is to pray the Holy Rosary and to wear the Brown Scapular daily. As you know, on the last apparition on October 13, 1917, Our Lady of Fatima appeared as Our Lady of Mount Carmel and she told the children that she wishes everyone to wear the brown scapular and pray the Holy Rosary daily. Okay? So she also asked the children um, and had requests for the children for the following apparitions as well. Um, and as you know, there were six apparitions from May to October 1917. In the fifth apparition, Our Lady asked the children to pray for poor sinners and to make sacrifices for them. Many souls go to hell because they have no one to pray for them. Okay. She also showed the children a vision of hell and she told them that many, many souls go to hell because of the sins of the flesh. Our, when Our Lady appeared on the July 13th apparition, she told the children that she would come and ask for the communion of reparation on the five first Saturdays of the month. Okay. So like I've always said, um, in the past, the Blessed Mother never breaks a promise. So this was fulfilled on December 10th, 1925. The Blessed Mother appeared to Sister Lucia what while in prayer and she appeared with baby Jesus on her side as well and um the blessed mother was holding her immaculate heart in her hands and which was encircled with thorns piercing her heart and the baby Jesus said to her have compassion on on your most holy mother's on your most holy mother covered with thorns which Ungrateful men pierce it at every moment, and there is no one to make an act, act of reparation to remove them. Okay, And the Blessed Mother then said, Look, at my daughter, at my heart, surrounded with thorns, with which ungrateful men pierce at every moment by their blasphemies and ingratitude. You, at least, try to console me and announce in my name that I promise to assist at the hour of death with all the graces necessary for salvation all those who on the first five Saturdays five consecutive Saturdays of the month confess receive Holy Communion and recite the rosary the recite the Holy Rosary and keep me company for 15 minutes meditating on the 15 mysteries of the rosary with the intention of making reparation to me. Well, Lucia, after this apparition, Lucia informed the her mother superior, superior and also her confessor. But unfortunately, not much progress was being made with this devotion. Okay. So, um, our Lord foresaw this happening. So sometime in the fall, in this in the same year of 1925 Lucia had a strange encounter with a small boy and um, she asked the boy if he knew how to say the Hail Mary and Lucia and the small boy said the Hail Mary three times and then she asked the boy to say it by himself and he seemed to have trouble saying it so then the, Lucia asked the boy if he knew where the Church of Saint Mary's was and the boy said yes so Lucia um, taught him this prayer oh my heavenly mother give me your child Jesus and she asked him to go to the church every day and to say this prayer so after that the the boy then went away so a few months later on February 15th the child returned to Lucia while Lucia was outside near her garden and the boy, he looked familiar to her like the same boy that she had an encounter uh, previously. So she approached the boy and she asked him, um, did you ask your heavenly mother 
for the child Jesus. And the boy turned to her and said, And you, have you revealed to the world what the Heavenly Mother asked you? And having said that, he, the boy turned into this incredibly, beautifully brilliant child. And at that point, Lucia realized that this was the baby Jesus that was she was speaking to. So she said, Lucia said, oh my Jesus, um, you know that my confessor said that this vision had to be repeated in order for it to be um, uh, basically uh, believed and that the mother superior could not uh, spread this devotion on her own. And Jesus basically said to her, yes, um, it is true that mother superior can do nothing um, without my grace and without my grace, she could do nothing without my grace. And it is, it is enough that your confessor gives you permission, permission and that your superior announces for this to be believed by the people, even if they do not know whom it was revealed to. So, um, Lucia, um, confessor actually basically told, told her that this devotion already exists in the world because, um, many souls and she's talk she's talking to Jesus still could, because many souls can receive Jesus on the first Saturdays and in the honor of the blessed Virgin Mary and recite the 15 mysteries of the rosary. But Jesus said, yes, this is true. However, many souls begin, but few persevere on the, to the very end. And those who persevere do it to receive the graces promised. Okay. The souls who make the five first Saturdays with fervor and to make reparation to the heart of the heavenly mother please him more than those who make the 15 but are lukewarm and indifferent this is what the, our lord jesus said and i'm paraphrasing a little bit here but if you read my blog the the quotes i say the quote exactly so lucia said to jesus many people find it difficult to confess on Saturdays. Will you allow an extension of like eight days? And Jesus said, yes, of course. It can be made later on, provided that, that, that these souls are in the state of grace when they receive me on the first Saturday and that they have the intention of making reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Lucia said to Jesus and, and asked them, how about those who forget? this um to form this intention and jesus said they can form it uh they can form it at the next confession taking advantage of the first opportunity to go to confession and right after that jesus um disappeared so later on um G uh, lucia's confessor asked her why why the five first Saturdays? Um, why is it five first Saturdays and not nine or 15? So while Lucia was doing her holy hour in the chapel and during, um, the, in front of the blessed sacrament, she asked our Lord this question that her confessor asked her. And this is what was placed on her heart. There are five types of offenses and blas blasphemies committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And these are what they are. And I'm going to tell them to you. First, number one, the blasphemy against the Immaculate Conception. Two, the blasphemy against her perpetual virginity. Three, the blasphemies against her divine maternity in refusing at the, at the same time to recognize her as the mother of men. Four, the blasphemy of those who publicly seek to sow in the hearts of children indifference or scorn or even hatred of the Immaculate Mother. Five, the offenses of those who outrage her directly, directly in her holy image. Lucia felt that our Lord was, was saying to her that the Lord wanted these small act of reparation, reparations to remove these thorns that cover her immaculate heart, to move his mercy, to pardon, 
pardon these souls who have offended her. Okay, because there's nobody to do so. So now I'm going to tie everything together so you have a, a, a little better understanding of how everything is connected. So there was a Carmelite priest named Father Howard Rafferty who had the opportunity and privilege to interview Lucia on August 15th um, in the year 12, I'm uh, sorry, in the year 1950. And Father Rafferty asked um, Lucia about the conditions, about the Fatima message and the conditions of the, of the Fatima message. And this is what he said to her. He asked Lucia that everybody in, in America seems to feel that there's only four conditions of the Fatima message. And he went on to say them. And I will tell them to you now. Number one, we are to say the rosary daily. We are to, we are supposed to offer up sacrifices of our daily life. We are to make communion of reparation on the first five consecutive Saturdays. We are to consecrate ourselves to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Okay. Lucia said there is one more condition, the fifth condition, the wearing of the brown scapular, which is the symbol of our consecration to her Immaculate Heart. So Father asked Lucia, so if somebody was doing the four Con more conditions and refuse to wear the brown scapular, they weren't fulfilling what Our Lady has asked for in the, in the Fatima message. And Lucia said, yes, if the, if someone refused to wear the brown scapular, um, and, um, were, were, were doing all the four conditions, um, they were, were not fulfilling what Our Lady has asked in the Fatima message. Okay, so then Father asked and said, so um, our Blessed Mother is not, this is something that is not something that Our Lady wants us, would like us to do. This is what Father has asked. It's not something that Our Lady wants us to do. It is something that is essential to the Fatima message, wearing of the brown scapular. And Lucia said, yes, this is essential. The, the fifth condition, which is wearing the brown sca scapular, is essential, is the fifth condition of the Fatima message. And one cannot be done without the other. Okay, so this, so Father then asked, which is more important, praying the Holy Rosary or wearing the brown scapular? And Lucia said, Father, the brown scapular and the holy rosary are inseparable. You can't have one without the other. Okay. So there you have it. Our, so Our Lady has told us everything she wants in the Fatima message. She said in all the apparitions, uh, what she what she wishes praying the Holy Rosary, wearing the brown scapular, um, doing the five first Saturdays to make reparation for all the acts of sin against her immaculate heart and the blasphemies. Um, so I hope this video, you learned how, how everything is connected together and that you can't have one without the other. Um, so, and, and so let's all heed to uh, what our Heavenly Mother is calling us to do and what is essential to the Fatima message. And as a side note, uh, in the September 13th um, Fatima appearance, Our Lady of Fatima told the children that she was going to appear as Our Lady of, of Mount Carmel. And this is the only apparition that she appeared to inhabit. Okay? So, um... Please subscribe to my channel and go to my, um, which is the, which is Little Brown Scapular YouTube channel. And you can go to my website, the Little Brown Scapular Coloring Book.com, which you will see all my other so social media 
media platforms and feel free to reach out to me there. I could all answer any questions that you have. So until next time, may God bless you abundantly and um, subscribe to my channel. God bless. See you next time. Bye-bye.